This is a toroidal plasma generator. It's basically a device that creates this accelerating ring of plasma inside a glass bulb. As you can see, it's very mesmerizing. The ring seems to be dancing and floating in the middle of nothing. Also, because it vibrates, it resonates with the glass and creates this unique musical sound. To be honest, this looks like magic to me. Not only because I have no idea what's going on, but also because Plasma is not supposed to do this. This video was brought to you by Hostinger. This device is doing what in science is called an electrodeless ring discharge. The electrodeless part is what's so freaky about this, because normally an electrical discharge jumps from negative to positive, to electrodes. But in this case, there's zero electrodes. So my question is, where are the electrons going? Surprisingly enough, this effect was discovered by a German physicist in 1884. His name was Johann Wilhelm Ittorf. Unfortunately, Ittorf didn't like to take pictures of his experiments, so the first time I ended up seeing one of these was because one of my friends, Tate, built one and I asked him to go see it. And he said yes. And then we got very excited and we showed it to a bunch of people. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting So, Whoa. And it's that. going. Look at that. You see, it makes a Taurus. Destin? Yeah. He'd be geeking out over that. Yeah? <laughs> Donut. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him a message to see if he's available to come live. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. And you're shooting it with this gun? Oh, no, wait. For some reason, this. We just it. have a gun. <laughs> There's just a gun. Yeah. And you, you can, shoot you it. Ask me if and you just shoot it, and it starts. <laughs> Yeah. This is an Integza video, is what this is. <laughs> Do I have to spin it in this axis? Okay, it works there too. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the Pringle! A hyperbolic paraboloid. Yeah, hyperbolic paraboloid, <laughs> yeah. exactly. In the 1800s, <laughs> telling his wife, I have done it! <laughs> and she's like, shut up. <laughs> He's like, no, look at it! Well, thank you for showing me this. Of course, yeah. Well, I thought you'd like it, and also Joel invited me over, so. There, there's so so much going on that I'm, I mean, I don't see a single bolt on this that I could put a wrench on. I'm a mechanical engineer, yep. so I can't be expected to know this stuff. I think a good person to know more about this would be probably like uh, Maddie from Electroboom. Let me think about it a little bit so I give you a proper answer. <laughs> well, it's not exactly a discharge, it's just like current flowing in a circle and it starts glowing, right? Well, high voltage creates plasma in a gas that creates glow, right? The current, it's AC, right? It goes back and forth, but because of the magnetic fields in there, it pushes the electrons in a circle rather than, you know, jumping from one side to another. But basically, you're creating a circular path for the charges to go back and forth, right? And the glow is different too, right? Under normal pressure, you see something like a lightning, but in vacuum, what you see is like a fluff of glow. Ooh, that's interesting. Guess what? That's like a closed circuit. So I think the plasma is forming a secondary coil, and what you're looking at is like, a plasma transformer that kind of just sits there and the energy goes out to a display. Sponsor time. I hate tomatoes. I hate them. They're disgusting. And I think that's a message that is worth spreading. I heard the best way of sharing information nowadays is by slapping it with Riz on the web. Did I say that right? I think so. And the best way to create a website nowadays is by using the services of this video sponsor, Hostinger. Well, ain't that convenient. How dare you? Did you know Ostinger offers an AI website building tool capable of building a website in just a few clicks? Did you know, mister, that they offer 24-7 multilingual chat support and AI tools to generate content? They offer an SSL, an email account, and a free domain name. For mine, I chose IHateTomato.com. It's like a clever way of saying I hate tomatoes. The 8 has no age, you genius. It sounds like you like eating tomatoes. Yeah, that's because it's a double bluff. That makes no sense. If you prefer, they have 150 different customizable templates you can use. But I'm lazy, so I just gave a prompt to their AI builder tool and ta-da! A website. If you also need to make a website, I've created a special link and promo code for an exclusive 10% discount. All you have to do is go to ostinger.com slash Integza and insert the promo code INTEGZA. By clicking the link in the description, you're not just getting a great deal, but also helping this channel. And to that I have to say... Wait, oh yes, wait a minute, Mr. Postman.
back to the video. So this is the gun that Destin was talking about. It's basically a portable Tesla coil. It's useful to get this started sometimes. Cameron Prince, one of the people that reacted to this device, actually has a bigger version of this and he shot me with it. It didn't hurt that much. Um, talking about Tesla coils, this and this actually have a lot in common because what this is, is basically a Tesla coil without the secondary. And instead of the secondary, what you have is a glass bulb filled with low pressure gas in which a current is induced. This ring of plasma is that current. For example, if I put this fluorescent light bulb close to the device, we get light. The reason for that is the current is being induced in the gas inside the light bulb. Now, this bulb here has low pressure xenon gas, which is normally used in neon lights. Uh, the reason why we need a low pressure gas is because low pressure gas is more conductive. Now, a good proof of that is that if I lift the bulb, nothing happens. Now, I'm not saying it's impossible to create a ring of plasma in atmospheric air, but the circuit in question is just not strong enough. Now, talking about the circuit, this device uses a circuit named HFSSTC, which stands for High Frequency Solid State Tesla Coil. I told you this was like a Tesla coil. This circuit generates high frequency alternating current in this coil over here. Alternating current basically means that instead of the electrons flowing like a river in one direction, they oscillate back and forth. The frequency defines how fast they oscillate. This circuit here oscillates insanely fast. We're talking about millions of oscillations per second. And I think it's important to ask, why? Why is it oscillating this fast? So, apparently all comes down to this concept of INDUCED CURRENTS. And it kind of clears up my confusion about where the electrons are going because they're not really going anywhere. Do you see this coil over here? If I put this stack of magnets close to it, nothing really happens. But if I oscillate the magnets, you can see I induce a current in the coil. And you can see that because, well, the LED is lighting up. I say the electrons are going nowhere because, well, they're just oscillating. They are creating an alternating current. But as you can imagine, I don't really have it in me to oscillate this stack of magnets millions of times per second. So, what if instead of using a permanent magnet, we use an electromagnet, which is basically a coil of wire. And instead of shaking the electromagnet, we shake the current inside the electromagnet. Do you see where I'm going with this? All I just described is basically what we have here. A coil of wire that is able to induce a current, not in another coil, but instead, a gas. Now, you're probably thinking, how did Integza get this device in the first place? Well. I asked Tate how he was able to build the one that he has, and he said he basically reverse engineered the setup this Russian guy was using. I did a bit of research and I found out that the name of the Russian guy is Zerg. Now, this is gonna sound made up, but I kid you not. Zerg was able to make this work while in 2014 testing with high frequency circuits and an empty bottle of vodka. And yes, the footage you're seeing right now is that experiment. Eventually, I reached out to Zerg and I asked him if I could get one. And he said yes, so I got one. Um, he calls them bagel generators. Yeah, uh, if you want to get one, I'll leave a link in the description. In this video, I'm also giving away a 3D printer. So if you want a chance to win a free 3D printer, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like in this video, and post a comment suggesting a theme for a future video. The most liked comment will win a brand new 3D printer. Um, well, this is everything for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, Tomatoes are disgusting. See ya! Okay guys, time to find out if what kills you, current or voltage. <laughs> We're gonna test in a tomato, obviously. Get out of here. It cauterizes. It, it basically has yeah, kind of a. It's kind of like micro stabbing. Yeah. Uh, I'm to eat it. Oh. <laughs> no, this one is going directly to the trash.